hard work and pride. Now, those are virtues we admire now in the Japanese and Korean industry abroad, but they exist in America, too. We found them in a small Seattle shop, one of the last of its kind in the United States. Somebody once called the accordion the second most difficult instrument to play well. It is surely the most difficult to build. There are 5,000 parts in a fine accordion, most hidden on the inside. This is American walnut, aged 20 years, so it won't warp. These cut pieces will eventually become some of the 41 keys on each instrument. Giulio Bagari is one of a handful of craftsmen left in the United States who can still build an accordion by hand. From beginning to end, it will take him more than nine months to finish one instrument. I mean, it's some of the accordions, those made in an assembly line, uh, it's not made like this. Bulgari, who built his first accordion at age nine, works at Potosa Accordions in Seattle's University District, one of the last accordion companies left in the country. This is when our shop in the early days was in the basement of my father's home. That's you on the right. And that's, that's myself at the right. And my father started teaching me at the age of 11, 12 years old. Joe Potosa took over this business from his father, who founded the shop in 1922. Now he's watching his own sons carry on the tradition. I think I was pushed into it by my father, uh, as I've done with my own children. Have you done yeah, that with your the children? Same, same thing, right. You know, when you're small, you kind of want to have fun and, and do what they do. And then it just kind of evolved where that's just what we do. You don't, there's not a, there's a choice, but there is no choice. Potosa only builds a half dozen or so accordions in Seattle now, most on special order. The rest come from a factory the family supervises in Italy. But everything made there comes through the Seattle shop, where it's torn apart for thorough testing to make certain it's good enough to carry the family name. <laughs> We're not worried about cost. We're not worried about time. We're trying to build the best instrument that can be made. These handcrafted accordions are not cheap, nine to $15,000 each. But they are known across the country for quality and craftsmanship. Names you know, Dick Contino, Pete Barbuti, Seattle's own Stan Borison, all play a Potosa. Joe Jr. and his brothers played professionally for 12 years. But now they are builders and salesmen and keepers of the pride in their family name. But those are wonderful accordions and uh, one of the few places in the country now that still does it by hand. I, for one, like accordion music, Mike. So you can tell me those accordion jokes and I can listen to that music anytime. <laughs> Have a good weekend. You too. And you as well. We'll see you Monday. Good night. Good night.